Hello, my dear students. Uh, welcome you all in our uh, periodic classification of elements. Okay. So, in this topic, what cover? What is uh, which part is our going on? So, importance of Mendeleev. Okay. Importance of Mendeleev periodic table. Okay. I already discussed whatever uh, Mendeleev periodic law. Okay. Now, whatever our third importance of Mendeleev periodic table. So, last second we saw uh, whatever regarding atomic mass. Okay, correction in atomic mass. Okay, uh, we saw as an example of beryllium and how they corrected atomic mass. Okay, that we saw. Now, see whatever our third. Okay, so in third, beta, prediction of new elements. Prediction of new elements okay so Mendeleev what he done regarding prediction of new elements he left some gaps okay so what they done Mendeleev left some blank spaces or gaps in his periodic table for those elements okay for those elements which are not known at that time okay so for them they left some blank spaces in his periodic table that is what Mendeleev periodic table understood so beta here most important thing is what he also predicted yes he also predicted properties also and named them by prefixing ika to the preceding element okay to the preceding element now see how they preceding or we can say the predicted name and what beta actual name so see here beta predicted name predicted name and uh, here we can write as a actual name okay so very much important thing is regarding a Mendeleev periodic table okay so see predicted name what Ika boron first we can write here what Ika boron that decaboron actual name is what? Scandium. See, after discovery, then here Ica aluminium. Now, here, whatever actual name is gallium after discovery. Here, what beta? Ica silicon. Ica silicon. Then that what? germanium means suppose see uh, whatever your predicted name Ica boron and scandium somewhere properties are similar whatever uh, prefix name okay predicted name and whatever actual name somewhere what better here properties physical and uh, chemical properties somewhere similar they are matching Ica boron scandium so this also is showing plus one uh, whatever charge plus three charge okay aluminium here plus three charge gallium also showing plus three charge okay silicon plus four minus four like that here also germanium they are showing plus four charge okay so uh, uh, these are what somewhere we are finding some uh, elements uh, we can observe it is in same uh, whatever groups also in suppose uh, already we discussed whatever uh, modern periodic table in that we saw whatever silicon and germanium they are what in same group okay like that uh, we uh, discussed mnemonic also for that kasi gay shankar parvati okay carbon silicon germanium understood so these are what prediction of new elements now uh, now only we saw how uh, whatever properties of Ica aluminum and gallium Ica aluminum what only called that Ica aluminum as a gallium see Ica aluminum what we uh, give name preceding okay whatever actual name of that is gallium so somewhere beta, somewhere their properties are matching so see how their properties are matching atomic mass okay 
see here atomic mass of your ica aluminum means first ica aluminum at that time he predicted atomic mass 68 then after discovery what beta 69.7 okay then formula of its oxide formula of its oxide yes formula of oxide is what e2o3 before discovery okay there after what beta yes here what ga2o3 then we can write here formula of its chloride also okay chloride is what here yes ecl3 now after discovery we can write as a gacl3 understood means before discovery this information regarding properties of that predicted element is correct understood before discovery he predicted atomic mass 68 there after 69.7 okay not that much difference understood so it is very much important property that is prediction of new elements okay uh, now we will discuss our fourth so whatever uh, we are writing here so you have to remove notes and you have to write in your notebook okay say fourth so we will discuss here fourth that is position of noble gases position of noble gases see position of uh, noble gases what we can say so noble gases were not known okay noble gases were not known at that time whenever uh, when mendeleev gave his periodic table understood so when a group of noble gases were discovered okay around 1900 when it is discovered around 1900 they got placed in the periodic table without disturbing original arrangement of mendeleev periodic table without disturbing okay without disturbing original arrangement of his periodic table that is mendeleev periodic table understood so now here question will arise uh, in your mind whatever why noble gases were discovered late because they are very unreactive okay understood you got the answer why they discovered late noble gases because very very unreactive okay and uh, present in extremely low concentration in our atmosphere okay very much low concentration in atmosphere okay so these are what our four importance of mendeleev periodic table now we will discuss here limitations okay so one of the important part of our uh, mendeleev periodic table is what yes limitations see yeah? so uh, that we will discuss here limitations okay see limitations of mendeleev periodic table limitations of mendeleev periodic table so limitation of mendeleev periodic table so we saw importance okay and like that are uh, some uh, limitations also there in his periodic table so first limitation is anomalous pairs of element first is what anomalous pairs of elements how it is anomalous pairs of element okay so here some elements of higher atomic weight okay what uh, in that mendeleev periodic table uh, limitation some elements of higher atomic weight they place before lower atomic weight understood means first lowest then highest but here what highest first highest atomic weight first thereafter lesser atomic weight so we will see here some examples okay so ready with this examples as a cobalt okay see see here cobalt cobalt actual what 
He plays cobalt first. What here, beta? Atomic mass of this cobalt. What's placed before? Was placed, beta, before nickel. Nickel having atomic mass, how much? 58.7. Understood? So, first nickel we want. Understood? Okay. Thereafter, vanadium, 50.94 atomic weight. Atomic weight. Now, see so here, what's placed? What's placed before? Yes, before chromium. Having atomic mass, how much? 50.20 understood so here what will happen say cobalt 58.9 but here what's placed before 58.7 that is nickel thereafter what vanadium same 5094 is placed what's placed before chromium okay as like one more also pair here that is aluminium they placed before silicon so say aluminium how much uh, near about 29.98 okay thereafter what's placed before silicon 28.09 understood so these are what as the anomalous pairs of elements we can observe in mendeleev periodic table I hope uh, you understood this all. Okay, now we will discuss here whatever second limitations of Mendeleev periodic table. Okay, so ready with this second Mendeleev periodic table. So pay attention here. Position of element of group eight. Second position of elements of group elements of group 8th so what he done in that elements of group 8 were arranged in three triads but no fixed position was allotted to them in his periodic tables okay were arranged in how much three triads Okay, but no fixed position was allotted to them in his periodic table. Okay, uh, if we saw uh, in that three triads, what? Uh, their transition elements are there mostly. Okay, so I will share the image also so you can uh, see properly. Understood? Three triads. Now, third, see here, whatever our third limitation. Third limitation position of isotopes. Position of isotopes. So uh, we can observe easily in uh, Mendeleev periodic table there was a no position, there is a no any uh, fixed position for isotopes. Suppose if you are considering as a hydrogen isotopes, so see here isotopes of hydrogen hydrogen isotopes uh, like this so first say isotopes is what same atomic number but different mass number these are what beta isotopes understood so see isotopes as like this hydrogen one and here one okay now here next hydrogen one and two and here what hydrogen 1 and 3 means here number of neutron number of neutron how much beta here zero only because one proton plus neutron is equal to what mass number of that element so hydrogen 1 plus 0 so in hydrogen there is a zero neutron here what proton so proton plus neutron we call it as a what mass number that is here one regarding your hydrogen i hope you understood this thing now here in so we can call it 
like this here this h1 and 1 means atomic number 1 and mass number 1 protium we can call it as what protium these are what deuterium so we can write like this also for this uh, deuterium d1 to or we can write here or hydrogen or we can write like this one and two deuterium okay and here also we can write regarding tritium as like this t1 and 3 means atomic number one and mass number three regarding your what tritium these are what beta tritium i hope you understood this okay hydrogen protium deuterium tritium means here mass number very much important 1 plus 1 so 1 there is a neutron in deuterium 1 plus 2 so 2 there is a number of neutron how much 2 understood so these are what isotopes of hydrogen okay these are uh, what means uh, uh, stability according to stability suppose if you are considering so hydrogen deuterium we can observe uh, means uh, okay in amount uh, hydrogen and deuterium but this tritium what extremely uh, rare understood so like that the percentage uh, we can call it as a, in our atmosphere also understood so these are what here position of position of your isotope means they did not place did not place space blank uh, space in his Mendeleev periodic table understood so see here uh, we will discuss here fourth limitation of Mendeleev periodic table say fourth is what anomalous position of hydrogen see anomalous position of hydrogen so anomalous position of hydrogen say as, as you know hydrogen they are showing some property shows properties like both metals as well as non-metals okay hydrogen this shows both the properties of metals as well as non-metals it is one of the important remarkable statement regarding your hydrogen okay so whatever i am writing here you have to write in your notes and you have to read thoroughly if any doubts will come they can you can share understood so see how it is remarkable regarding your uh, hydrogen C. hydrogen as you know there is atomic number one so there is a one only electron one only electron in their valence shell yes or no okay means by accepting by losing so most of the time they are what losing so hydrogen plus h plus by losing one electron whatever one electron is there in valence cell that only they are losing so it acquires obviously what h plus so we can already we we can also call this h plus as a proton okay so acids are what proton donor bases are proton acceptor that uh, it is uh, another uh, lesson uh, in that only detail we will see uh, acid bases and salts okay so see hydrogen we, we can call it as a proton also h plus ions so h plus ions means here they are showing some properties of alkali metals okay alkali metals uh, beta we saw regarding alkali metals see here what we saw whenever uh, we are in offline one offline lecture was there okay hey limka soda pepsi che rubab kase far okay so are you remembering this mnemonic also here your lithium is plus one sodium is plus one potassium also plus one rubidium also plus one means all here what beta plus one no doubt this francium is what your radioactive element okay are you concentrating are you watching this properly okay it is very much important thing 
means your hydrogen they are showing plus one okay so anomalous position of hydrogen okay alkali metal like this alkali metals they are showing property by losing one electron and it acquires what h plus ions now see how they will act like a non metal so here by accepting one electron they acquire how much charge understood h minus okay so here we can write in metal hydrides where we are finding we are finding such type of hydrogen in metal hydrides so in metal hydrides see suppose if you are taking example of nah nah is what metal hydride uh, whatever name we can write here like this sodium hydride okay sodium hydride na plus h minus okay understood so here sodium this cation part and h minus is what we call yes hydride ion what we called here h minus as a hydride ion means like non metal they are showing here how they are showing properties of non metal with the help of this sodium hydride i mean metal hydrides so as you know halogens okay so here see halogen fluoro chloro bromo iodo means by accepting one electron they acquire what yes they acquire f minus sin cl it will be converted into cl minus sin br minus sin i minus sin so like that hydrogen also what by accepting one electron it acquire negative charge so that we call it as a what hydride ion understood so it is very much interesting thing regarding hydrogen okay understood so uh, you have to write in your notes okay very much important thing here uh, we discuss regarding hydrogen means the uh, position of this hydrogen whether we kept in a first a group or in seventh a group okay because hydrogen there is a controversial nature arises here okay regarding your hydrogen okay so because of this one only uh, electron in their valence shell by accepting by losing one okay it take was by losing h plus by accepting one electron h minus okay so because of this what there is a anomalous position of hydrogen will arise understood so uh, one more here uh, we can uh, mention regarding anomalous position of uh, hydrogen uh, in our fourth limitation one more important point we can mention that is okay whatever hydrogen and alkali metals combines with certain elements to form a compounds having similar okay what beta having similar formula so see here how it will happen say compounds of hydrogen say compounds of sodium okay compounds of compounds of sodium now what will happen say compounds of hydrogen means how they are showing similar similar formula so say hydrogen yes hcl here also showing what nacl understood hcl nacl similar properties similar not we can say similar properties similar formulas okay h2o here what na2o because of plus 1 hydrogen and na is also also what plus 1 now see here h2s like that here also what na2s understood similar formulas okay so you can mention in your what notebook now one more here remarkable that is hydrogen also resemblance with halogen in some of the properties okay 
understood uh, how they are showing with halogens means your h2 is also diatomic yes your f2 cl2 these are also what diatomic molecules diatomic molecules understood so these are what interesting thing regarding your what beta regarding this limitations of mendeley periodic table i hope you understood uh, this all contain okay so we will uh, move towards what our next part that is modern periodic table okay so uh, we will concentrate on this modern periodic table means we saw mendeley periodic table in that we saw mendeley periodic law okay thereafter importance of mendeley periodic table how they improve in their periodic table okay how they corrected atomic mass and everything now we discuss limitations also of mendeley periodic table now it's time to discuss what beta yes modern periodic table so whatever nowadays we are observing that we are studying that periodic table is what modern yes modern periodic modern periodic table or we can uh, call it as a long form of periodic table long form of periodic table okay long form of the periodic table understood modern periodic table or we can write here as a long form of the periodic table now see in where uh, started work okay see in 1913 in 1913 mostly hendrich mostly so see the name of the scientist hendry mostly okay show that the atomic number of an element is a more fundamental property than its atomic mass okay hendry mostly what he showed the atomic number is more fundamental property than atomic masses so thereafter in modern periodic table okay so we will uh, write here modern periodic law like a mendeley periodic law we can write here what modern periodic law so say concentrate on this modern periodic law also beta see modern periodic law you have to write in your notebook so what will be the modern periodic law say write the properties of elements are say the properties of elements are periodic function of are the periodic function of their their what beta periodic function of their atomic number understood periodic function of their atomic numbers so see here how it is say whatever therefore if elements are arranged so we will mention here there if we will elements are arranged in increasing their atomic number so what will happen the elements with similar properties are repeated the elements with similar properties are repeated after certain regular intervals and this repetition of property are termed as periodicity in property are termed as what periodicity in properties understood okay whatever physical and chemical properties at a certain regular interval they are repeating frequently so that we can call it as a what periodicity in property repetition these are repetition of property with the help of that electron configuration 
their charges, similar charges. Okay. Understood. So here, after this modern periodic table, cause of periodicity we have to mention here. Okay. So see next our see with the cause of periodicity. Cause of periodicity. So here cause of periodicity in that we have to mention say elements of same group have similar outer electronic configuration. So they show similar chemical property. So now only I told regarding uh, when there is a similar electronic configuration at that, at that time obviously what will happen there is a similar chemical properties. Okay, so suppose if you are taking example of our first group, okay, first day that is first group, hey, limka, soda, pepsi, cherubab, kasi, farm. Okay, up to this, what they are all are metals because in their valence shell there is only one one electron, valence shell one electron, therefore they are acquiring what plus one charge means they are losing electrons so these are what due to this same repetition of electron configuration they are what similar chemical properties understood it is what mainly cause of periodicity elements of same group have a similar outer electron configuration so they show similar chemical properties so whatever now i told that you have to mention in your notebook okay it is very much important now see we will discuss whatever characteristics of this modern periodic table okay characteristics of this modern periodic table see first we will discuss regarding groups okay so what is a group in our periodic table and how many are there so group means we can call it as a, these are what vertical columns vertical columns like this we observe okay these are what nature of our periodic table roughly i am uh, drawing here okay so see here in that whatever these vertical rows we can call it as a what here groups okay so like that here total total how many beta 18 vertical columns so 18 groups are there in our modern periodic table okay so we can name this namely see like this we can name say specific names of so you can mention here specific specific names of group of elements group of elements okay so see here in first whatever group one group one group one we call it as a alkali metals what beta alkali metals group two so group two we call it as a what alkaline earth metals okay alkaline earth metals now group 3 to group 12 so group 3 to group 12 we can call it as a what transition metals or we can see what transition elements okay group 13 Group 13, we call it as a simply as a boron family. Okay, like that we saw whenever offline our lecture, I discuss in classroom, boron family, Bar Gangadhar, Indian Tech, like that. Okay, so you have to revise frequently, you have to uh, practice of that periodic table without seeing. Okay, now group 13, Group 14, C carbon, yes, carbon family. 
काशी गए शंकर पार्वती कार्बन सिलिकॉन जर्मैनियम ओके टेन लीड अंडरस्टोर सुन सी आफ्टर दिस ग्रुप फिफ्टीन ग्रुप फिफ्टीन वी कैन राइट एज अ निकटोजन्स से निकटोजन्स Nictogens group 15. So why they are called as nictogens? Because they have these elements have some chalking and stiffing, chalking or stiffing properties. Okay, therefore these elements group 15 elements is called as what nictogens. So as you know the examples, few examples I am writing here. Group 15, yes, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, stibium, and bismuth. nitrogen family group 15 nitrogens group 16 so see group 16 calcogens what calcogens as you know the element group 16 o sulfur se teri purani dosti o sulfur se teri purani dosti or we can write o s se tepo o s se tepo calcogens so, so calcogens means what Ore formers, ore, okay, ores. You know, in extraction of metals, uh, we are going to discuss ores. Okay, means ore means what? The, it is the minerals from which metal can be extracted profitably, economically. Okay, so calcogen means what? Ore formers. You have to mention. Okay, nitrogen means what? Choke, choking property or stiffing property. Okay, now see, beta. Group seventeen. So see here in group seventeen, halogens, halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Okay, these are what halo. Halo means sea salt. Gin means what producing. Okay, group eighteen. As you know, noble gases, inert gases. Okay. Understood. Inert gases, inert elements. Okay, are you remembering what was the mnemonic for this? Hena, hena, or karina, zekirani, helium, neon. Okay, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, like this or what? Your noble gases elements. I hope you understood this all regarding group. So whatever next part, next point of this topic. that we will discuss in next lecture thank you very much take care and stay safe thank you